Hi guys, what's up? My name is Raleigh. I'm going to teach you guys how to do a couple crossover moves. This first move, this is the Tony Parker cross. Look him up on YouTube. He uses this little cross where he hesitates. He doesn't carry the ball. I mean, maybe it would be, it would be called carry, but in the NBA, you know, he just switches back over. He just hesitates for a second, he switches it back over. And you, if you see in the um, playoff series, against uh, last year against the Golden State Warriors he would uh, call for the screen and then he used to click tops and this is where they got the highlights where um tip like and he was calling for the screen and looked that way he shifted back over and he pulled up for the jump shot and that basically sealed the game but I'm going to show you guys a couple drills and stuff on how to do it and uh, the overall move for the day okay here you go I'm going to demonstrate that one more time, but uh, if you look really closely on uh, the second, right here before, when I'm um, dribbling, and I take a step, okay, I take a, I take a step, and, and uh, you're not going to hold it like this, really, but I'm just holding it like this because I'm pausing, and then you're just going to shift it back over, and you kind of want to have, when you shift, want to have your, your right leg, your inside leg, hit the floor when the ball hits the floor, so, so, so you can keep that concept of a, a, a body ball defender, because if you just do this, you're probably going to get ripped, and if it doesn't get ripped, you're going to be out of control, but if you do, and you're controlled, that's good, and um, I wish I started this now, but if you're going full speed, you want to keep it low, you know, you want to keep the ball low, and you also want to be low in your dribbling stance, okay, so we're going to go one time, two speed. Now that time, I did a little bit wider than normal, simulating a fast break, but on a fast break, if you're doing like, say that, you know, you're coming up the court, you got to you got a man on your on, on your right, my right, and you, and you have a like one on two or one on three, and this is kind of like the Euro step with the ball, but you're not taking, you're not like picking up the ball like James Harden does, Ron and Ginobili. It's like man on your right, you know, you just fake like you're going right, and then you shift it back over. So in a fast break, it would look like. And again, you'd probably take longer steps, a little bit more explosive than I am right now. You'd probably go like. you probably go like that. But um, when you're using this move, like in a one-on-one -on -one situation, or you're not trying to just necessarily blow by where you have like, help defense, you kind of want to. to keep the ball closer to you and, and it would be more powerful. You don't want the ball to really leave your hands. So kind of like see when I'm doing that, the ball isn't really out of my hands that long. But if you're doing this, like that, and dribbling really high, the ball is out of your hands too long. The defender can retreat. And when you're doing these moves, you want to really focus on moving your body and stuff, because you just move the ball. Like a defender looks at your belly button or your stern, because you can't fake where this is going. Like you see, like a good defender's top of seven lesser does this on a lot of rookies, where they think they can just go here, and they'll move their body to the side, so it, he, he fakes them like it's going that way, and then when they get back here, he just picks their pockets, and that's how he uh, gets his points, usually that, and threes. So you want to make sure that you get a lot of ball move, body movement, and you want to uh, shift your eyes and your head. Now, you can't just, a lot of coaches will tell you when you're just doing your drumming drills, you want to keep your eyes about the rim the whole time. And like you want to, if you're looking down, you kind of want to know, just like, go through your moves, looking at the rim the whole time like this. But, you know, 
and, and, and you probably need to do that if they're telling you because your eyes are looking down and that makes sure that you're looking up. But, but you don't want to be just like looking at the rim the whole time when you're doing that guy because guys are going to drive. But there's a camp called Point Guard College we went to a couple times and they always tell us there's a thing called peeking. And when you get the ball, you want to look at, a, at your rim that you're trying to score on. And if you look at the rim that you're trying to score on, you can see the whole floor and what teammates are, you know, your teammates are open. And they told us that if you're a point guard, every time the ball hits the, you know, every time your hand hits leather, you want to peek at the rim. Because if I'm looking at, you know, my defender or looking down the whole time, you know, like my teammate could make a beautiful wide, you know, back door cut. And I'll be going, you know, one on one. I can, if my, if my eyes are down, I can't see it. So you want to keep your eyes up. You want to dribble strong. And you want to do a lot of body movement. Okay. So the Tony Parker cross. Just the overhand cross. You know, take a couple steps to the left if you like. Like that sort of. Kind of like that. And then the counter to this. Every movie you use has to have a counter. The counter to this is that's in it. So that's inside out. That's basically what he does to set up the move. So he does like that because his he uses his inside dribble out a lot. So what, another thing you can do when you're doing that is you go here and then you spin the cycle. Tony Parker is great, especially if you saw the. Um, if you saw, if you saw the uh, playoff series uh, when the Thunder played the Spurs, he did this a lot to Kendrick Perkins, where he would just do an overhand and then cross back over. So that's the Tony Parker cross. Uh, hope you all enjoyed that, and uh, please hit the subscribe button or just the like button or. Tell me how you feel in the comments below, and thank you for viewing.